What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here, moving on to the next question dealing with advanced functions. In this particular example, we are given a bunch of characteristics of a function, and we have to sketch a graph that's gonna match those characteristics. So whenever I get a question like this, personally, I always like to start off plotting the characteristics that are concrete that where there's not going to be any subjectivity involved. And so that includes coordinates. So notice that these two here, f of 0 equaling negative 1.5 and f of 1 equaling 2, those are actual coordinates on this function. So we're going to have a coordinate here. Let's say that's 0, negative 1.5. And then we're going to have a coordinate, let's say somewhere over here. That's going to be like 1 and 2. So those are actual concrete characteristics on the graph. Next characteristic is concrete as well. We're told that there's a vertical asymptote at negative one. So we know that at this x value of negative one, there's going to be a vertical asymptote. So I'm just gonna draw a dotted line there to represent that. And then these last two characteristics here, those uh, have a little bit more subjectivity with them. And so what that means basically is we have a little bit more flexibility with how we can draw those or incorporate those characteristics into our uh, function, into our sketch. So as x approaches infinity, the y values also approach infinity. And so notice that this is dealing with the behavior the end behavior of this function on the right side, right? So these are the x values. As x approaches infinity, the y values are also approaching positive infinity. So we know that the end behavior is going to be on this quadrant right here, right? So we know that uh, the function is going to be going off infinitely in that direction. As x goes to infinity, as x goes to positive infinity, the y values are also going towards positive infinity. Okay, so we got that handled there. And then over here, as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches zero. And if you think about it, what that means is that on the other side, the end behavior on the left side of the function, there's going to be a horizontal asymptote at a y value of zero. And a y value of zero is basically just the x-axis. Right, so as x approaches negative infinity, as we go this way, the y values are approaching zero, but notice that we're not given any other details about the function, what's happening to the left of this vertical asymptote of negative one. So we have more flexibility there with how we could draw this. We could draw this either like this, so we could be approaching that y value of zero from above, but we could also draw it this way and be approaching that y value zero from below. Okay, and so that's what I mean by some characteristics give you more flexibility with uh, how you could draw them, right? The points, there's no flexibility there. Vertical asymptote at negative one, no real flexibility there. Those are concrete characteristics. These other characteristics, there is more subjectivity. So on this right side, let's maybe actually draw this in a different color. So on this right side, Okay, we know there's a vertical asymptote here. And so we're gonna increase the function. It's gotta go through those points and then it's gotta meet that end behavior right there. And could, we could have maybe did something like that. We could have even made a line after from there, right? More flexibility with what we could do on this side. I'm just gonna make this a curve the uh, whole way. Not the best looking curve, but uh, yeah, hopefully you get what's uh, what's happening there, right? And then over here at this vertical asymptote of negative one, we're approaching negative infinity. And then again, on this left side, we have flexibility. I'm just gonna draw it like that. The thing that is the most important is this part right here. As X values are approaching negative infinity, right? As the X values are getting larger to the negative side, the Y values are getting closer and closer to this Y value of zero, meaning that there's a horizontal asymptote there. And that there is a function that matches these 
characteristics. And that's a wrap for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want to see more videos like this, please go to my website, allthingsmathematics.com. Over there, all of the videos are organized by chapter, by section. If you feel like you need tutoring at any point, you could also hit me up. My contact details are on the website. Enjoy your day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.